today in the mail I received the Mimo second generation 7 inch USB powered display. It is their 710S model. It comes in a nice small box. I'm particularly fond of the flap that's right here. And so, here is the actual display. It's very thin, which I really appreciate. And you open it just like this. Now one thing I wish was different is you, I wish you could position it in different angles. You kind of can, but it'll slide back into place. And one of the features is that it rotates to be a vertical display. Holds its place. It's all USB powered, so there's only going to be one wire you have to deal with. So I'm using this on a Leopard MacBook Pro. It only runs on Intel based machines. So on the back, perhaps it's easier this way. Pop up this panel. That's where the mini USB goes. The cable it includes has two, S two USB in case your computer doesn't have enough power. But if you have a Mac, at least a new one, don't worry about it. So plug that in, put the display open, and the power button. There's only two buttons to choose from. The top one, which you're not going to be able to see very clearly, is the power. And then there's two brightness settings. I believe that I actually have it set to about the lowest brightness, which I appreciate. And with the display link uh, driver, you go into your system preferences and you actually just control it by the displays. So you can select to rotate it. 90 degrees. And then you have that. So I like to put, people seem to really favor putting their Twitter accounts in here. I prefer the Tweety desktop app. So we'll zoom in. There's all the tweets. So, if you're over here doing something completely different, browsing the internet, then that'll work just fine for you. Um, not too worried about this. Didn't really get it for Twitter. Some people seem to love it for that. What I really wanted it for was while I'm doing my design work, I wanted to be able to watch video on one display while using the whole display for the work. So I'll switch this back to standard, which is now fine. And I'm really fond of the Hulu desktop app, mostly because it helps me find new shows that I didn't know I already liked. So here's Desperate Housewives, which I'm watching. And something I really like is you can set it to full screen mode. And normally, if you do it in a web browser, when you go back over to a different display, it will leave full screen. But the Hulu desktop app will continue to play. So I'm over here. Perhaps I'm going to go to one of my favorite Apple web logs. No, no, no. We're still staying in full screen. And, just, just so you know, something I was worried about since it is powered by the laptop is if the frame rate would perform well. 
and I see no slowdown whatsoever when streaming video. That you've been going through, you know, with the, from the guy across the street. Now, is when you fold this up, the base operates as a shield for the display. So when you're traveling in your bag, it's good to go. So I've gone ahead and opened up Bridge and also have the Hulu desktop app still playing video. So I can come in here and look at one of my files. No, no, she left. She left Open that up into Photoshop. I'm she told this is a wedding invitation I did for a friend. I don't, I don't recall that. Will you stop? You don't know the whole story. Mother, I went over there and I told him how much you love him. What? And you see the what file thinking? works what fine. Yeah, what did he say? I this is a pretty large file. It's actually bad time. Someone close to him had just died. God, really? Well, I don't know what size it is, but it's a couple hundred mags. You can close that out. Please, I can't stand it. I really enjoy this this display. It does the job perfectly. If you're Nomadic like I am, it gives you an opportunity to have a second display to watch video anywhere or just to put other palettes from different applications onto a smaller display or if you're ridiculous, just view your Twitter on one specific display. Um, it's small and at first I thought it might be nice to have more position with the display but you have many different angles where the screen displays well from. and. An added bonus is how nicely and thin it packs up to go in your bag. So it's very nice. I plan on using this at a coffee shop, at a library. I can just have my headphones. I can just have a traveling workspace that can go with me anywhere and, and be completely unobtrusive. So I recommend the Mimo 710 7-inch display.